everyone, Neil here, back with another custom furnace episode. Uh, today we're going to do a little bit more work, um, a lot more work, <laughs> a lot more work in our tile entity. Um, I really, really want to get in a container, but there's a few things that we need to finish up in here first in terms of some of these methods that are still listed as to do. So let's get into those and get them going. So get stack and slot. Into your eye. You can you know what? We'll leave it as var one. We'll leave it as var one because if you did the add um implemented methods, that's what you're going to have. We will just adjust as necessary. So if we want to get a stack and slot, the integer is essentially the slot itself. We are going to return this dot slots and that is going to be var1. Just like so. We need to take out all though. Right? So you want to get a stack in the slot. What's the slot? Go to this slot. There it is. Pretty straightforward. Um, this guy right here um, we need to do a little bit more. So decrease the stack and this decrease stack size. So this is like essentially if you're picking up items out of it, right? Well, first the thing that we need to do is we need to say that if this dot slots uh, bar one, if that uh, does not equal null, then we can proceed. If it re if it is null more or less what we're going to do is it's just going to return false, right? It's going to return uh, null down here. So really what we're saying is that this has to, those have to be in parentheses. So what we're really saying is that whatever this slot is, it has to have something in it before we proceed. If it has something in it, um, we're going to say that it's an item stack, right? And we are going to check so if uh, this dot slots of var one dot stack size is less than or equal to var two, and we're going to do actually a little uh, else if here, like so. Um, we're going to say uh, item stack, the item stack will equal this dot slots, whatever slot you're working with, um, bar one. And then we're going to say, so what we're doing is we're pulling that stack out and we're putting it into the item stack. So it's going to be in your hand. It's going to be, it's in your, it's in your hand for a second, right? Because you click it, it's in your cursor, and you drag it down, put it in your inventory, what have you. And then we're going to say that this, that that particular slot, whatever we just pulled that out of, that slot is going to be null. It's going to be empty. Now, what? Uh, and then we'll just return the item stack. So then you'll just have that stack in your hand. Now, what if you want to uh, say you have your stack in there? Say, say you've you've ran um, 64 iron ore through your four furnace, and you now have 64 iron ingots. If you want to split that stack, if you right click on it, you'll know that you have 32 left, 32 in your hand. We actually need to tell it to do that. So we are going to say that the item stack will equal this dot slots. And whatever that slot is, then we are going to split that stack. And that will be a bar two. And then we're going to say, what if it's only one, right? If it's, if, you know, if it's, uh, if you have 64 in there and you split it, it's just going to be half of that, right? But however, what if it's only one item in there and you right click? It's not going to give you half of an item, right? So we actually need to, we kind of need to uh, uh, tell it that. So we will say if this dot slots 
um, VAR1. I really hate using these VAR1s. I'm going to stop doing this. Sorry, guys. Um, dot stack size is equal to zero. We are going to say this dot slots VAR1 is no. It's just going to pick up that one and be done with it. Return no. So there is that method there. The next one is to get the stack in slot on closing and that is really um, easy in the sense that all we're going to be doing is this exact same thing right here. So we'll actually close this and we'll paste that in and um, we're actually going to be do, 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 do. that is not right that is not right it's close but it's not right if I sorry got to do it um, if This dot slots i dot stack size no 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 if this is not equal to no oh fucking Christ all kinds of stuff put in here sorry for the believers out there just it just snuck out on me item stack so if it is not equal to no we're gonna put it into an item stack and it is going to come from this dot slots I whatever slot we clicked on this dot slots I will be equal to null and we are going to return the item stack and then we have a return null down here saying essentially if it is no we're gonna if, if, if there's nothing in there right if there is nothing in that slot we're just gonna return null nothing happens um, set inventory slot contents is the next one um, in here we are going to say um, we're going to change that to I and that to item stack of course to the drink this dot slots of i is going to equal the item stack so whatever we're choosing is going to equal the item stack and if that item stack is not equal to null then the item stack dot stack size is greater than this dot get inventory stack limit which we've already done which is 64 right so if it is greater than that we are going to say item stack dot stack size equals this dot get inventory stack limit like so so if it is bigger than that it's going to spread it out pretty easy pretty straightforward last one um, we have more to do's in here where are all of our to do's it says that we have to do's here I am not seeing them let's save it ah we only have one to do left one to do left that is the is usable player so is usable by player so really what we're saying is is this tile entity usable by the player and so what we're going to do is we're going to return this dot world object and uh, we actually want our entity player to be uh, entity player dot world object dot get tile entity and really what we're saying is that we are going to get this tile entity from 
this dot x chord this dot y chord and this dot z chord. So we are going to get that from there and if it does not equal this, so essentially um, what is this saying? It's saying if the tile entity in this place does not match the tile entity that this is in, right? Um, and I don't know how that would be possible, how you would get one tile entity inside of another. Um, the only time I've ever seen this is, so like if you go in and you create a block in Minecraft, right? Let's say you create your own block, you go into the world, you place that block, you close Minecraft, you come out, and you delete that block out of your code and go back in, you'll notice wherever that block was, there was um, a shadow there, right? And my guess is if you created a furnace, then you go in and you place that furnace down, you delete it, the game still thinks that there's something occupying that code. And what this will do is essentially it'll say, you know, compare that data for that block to the block that you're actually wanting to work with. And if they uh, do not equal each other, then it's going to return false. Nothing's going to happen. Does that make sense? It's terribly confusing. Uh, anyway, so yeah, false. Otherwise, we are going to say entity player dot uh, get distance squared. And really, what this is going to be is these three things right here. So we'll copy those. We will just paste those in just like so. But what we actually need to do is we need to cast each of these in a double. So we can do the first one, and then we will just copy, paste these into each of these. There's something still a little bit more that we need to do, and that is we need to say um, plus 0 0.5 double plus 0 0.5 double and then plus 0 0.5 double and then at the end of that we are going to say uh, less than or equal to 64.0 double. Complicated? That's okay. That's okay. Uh, that takes care of that method. That is done and um, actually we're, we're, we're more or less done with uh, the tile entity. I mean there's going to be some other stuff that we come back for so this is a pretty short episode. Um, I'm going to wrap it up here and then the next episode that we're going to come back and do is going to be specifically around um, um, how do you say uh, uh, the container. We're going to come back and we're going to work on the container we're going to start aligning all the slots everything like that. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe. This is Neil. I will see you then. Bye-bye.